Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Teslong. This is the NTS300 Industrial Boroscope, and this is an auto-focusing boroscope, which is actually very, very cool. It's got a range of uh, one inch to a hundred feet. So it's not that fixed focal length that we normally see on a lot of these industrial uh, endoscope slash boroscopes. You can pick it up on Amazon at the time of this review for about $160 or so. And I'll have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. I'll also have a link to Teslong where you can check out all the products that I have to offer. Well, let's jump into this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how the product comes. It comes in this nice uh, carry case here, which is very cool for storing your boroscope. Uh, very hard shell plastic here. Uh, very heavy duty in, in, for storage, which I found to be very nice. Now you just have to release these two clasps uh, outward, and then you'll be able to open up the box and you'll be able to see your device and everything that comes with it. And we're just gonna kind of touch base on what you're going to get with this. Uh, you're of course going to get a user manual and an endoscope a cameras catalog from Teslong. Again, you can check them out at www.teslong.com. I've done reviews in the past on some of their products and they've always been excellent. You get the main unit itself, of course. You get either a one meter or three meter auto-focusing uh, boroscope cable here and uh, one end you can see has some pins that will go into the unit and the other end of course is going to be the camera uh, kind of in a gunmetal uh, and it also has some LEDs around it as well uh, which I'll get into and demonstrate uh, so you can illuminate wherever you're trying to see uh, it's got three levels of brightness on that that again will show off in just a little bit uh, so you can get a couple different lengths here as well. Now you do get a USB to micro USB to recharge the 2600 milliamp 18650 battery that's in this particular unit. And you're going to get up to five or six hours of constant usage out of one charge. Of course, it's going to take uh, a few hours to recharge, but it's rechargeable so you can use it over and over and over again. You don't have to be tethered to the wall. Now you can plug this into a, a laptop or PC, or you can use use an AC to USB adapter to recharge the device. And of course, the wall adapter is going to be a little bit more quicker on the recharge. Now, they do give you some uh, attachments to this, and I do want to mention that these are really high quality attachments. They're made out of solid metal. Uh, very nice. You've got a right angle mirror here. So if you need to see around some place that you can't see into, you've got a hook for grabbing onto things. And you also have a magnet, which is very cool as well. So if you drop like a screw or something uh, and you need to uh, get that attached, uh, you can use the magnet attachment to do that. Uh, works out really, really well. And as you can see, I'll attach this magnet to something metal and it attaches very well uh, and it's really strong. As you can see, once it's attached, I'm not going to lose it, uh, so it's very, very helpful to have that. So those attachments that they include are super, super nice. Let's get the case out of the way here, and then we can show you the main unit, uh, just some of the functions that we're going to be looking at on the NTS300. Uh, overall, it's got a 4.5-inch screen. It is capable of doing still shots in 1080p, and it also is capable of doing uh, video, uh, recording video to its in internal SD card uh, and that will be either 720p or 1080p depending on what you set the re resolution to. Now you've got a little trigger button at the bottom that will activate this light here and that light is an external light so if you're working in the dark and you need to see it also has a built-in flashlight which is awesome. Didn't have any problems with that while I was testing it out. You've got all your function buttons up front uh, and we'll go over that in just a second. Of course, right where my thumb is, is going to be uh, your power, and above that is going to be your brightness. And then on the top, we've got a snapshot or start recording. We've got our mode to switch us between a few different things, and of course, your uh, navigation buttons to set your settings, uh, and we'll go over all of that uh, in just a second. 
taking a look at the tubing itself, it's super thick, uh, this tubing, uh, and poseable, which is awesome as well, in case you need to get to a certain angle. And of course, if you get the three meter version, you're gonna get over nine feet uh, so it does have some reach there. You're going to see when you want to plug this in that there's going to be some pins on the layout here and you're just going to make sure that they line up and then you're just going to screw down the housing and you will be good to go. So that's how you hook everything up. A little cool feature is that they have this button on the side here and you can see uh, that if I uh, press it I can either flatten this out or set it up at an angle and that's so if I need to see the screen and I'm kind of in a fixed position with the uh, tubing uh, I will be able to set this at a separate angle and it locks into place in either one of those two angles so it definitely helps out if you need a little bit of maneuverability I just thought it was a nice addition. Last thing I want to talk about is going to be that there is a, a slot on the side and of course this is where you're going to recharge everything with your micro USB port and of course there's an, a micro SD card slot here uh, came pre-installed with a class 10 32 gigabyte card they say that is the highest that it will take is a 32 gigabyte still plenty of room to uh, do plenty of pictures and video if you need to record so not a ba uh, bad deal there and it's of course replaceable if you need to, if you fill up a card and you want to carry an extra card super easy to use uh, hidden behind this flap on the side so taking a look at the settings here we've got uh, camera settings and then we have regular settings as you can see from the top left hand corner you can see those are the other settings here that we have using your settings button you can get into that menu uh, also uh, clicking mode will switch you from camera which you see a little camera at the top here to video uh, and you can freeze the video by pressing ok if you want to you can use the button all the way to the left to take video uh, so as well as viewing some of your pictures now let's go back into settings uh, we can delete uh, certain things we can protect files so that they cannot be deleted and we can do a slideshow if we want to review these pictures on screen and we have two seconds five seconds and eight seconds to do that if we want to do that we can uh, now if we go back into uh, our settings I'll show you the rest of the settings menu really quickly so that you guys can see what else can be set with this uh, it has a few different um, options for setting date and time uh, and timestamps and things like that uh, so you're going to want to see this uh, auto power off uh, either five or ten minutes or not on at all which means it will never power off uh, but this is great because it does have a rechargeable battery and you can get five to six hours but if you're on a work site or you're working uh, you want it to auto shut off you can also we have languages as well and it supports a ton of different languages from English to Dutch to Spanish, French, Italian, uh, and so on. So you can uh, do that if you uh, so choose to do that. Uh, you can switch the whole entire thing. So that is uh, also very welcome. Your date and time, you can set right here. Uh, and you can just kind of go through to set your date and time. Uh, so it'll show up on your timestamps if you want. You can format the card. Uh, if you need to format the card and just wipe it clean, you can do that right from the unit. Uh, you can set everything to default settings. And of course, you can also check your version number. Uh, the firmware version on this happens to be 2.0. And of course, you can check www.teslong.com for any other newer updates. Okay, so looking at the video, you can see I'm uh, going to show off uh, the LEDs first. Uh, you've got three levels of LED brightness here on the end of the probe itself. Uh, you can have it on or off if you need it, and they all work out pretty well, and it will illuminate some really dark areas, say if you're using this for plumbing or other dark areas, you're not gonna have any problems with this whatsoever. The autofocus works really, really well. You can see that I'm pretty far. Uh, if I need to get up close to something, you can see that it's in focus here. And then if I'm further away, as you can see with Dr. Strange, he's totally in focus now. Uh, again, you have that range from say, uh, you know, one inch, which would be something like this cable, uh, up to 100 feet. I mean, Dr. Strange is only about a foot and half away, uh, but 100 feet. So you're going to get that kind of uh, autofocus that you would see on a cell phone. Uh, you're going to get that with this uh, particular boroscope, which is a very, very uh, welcome added feature uh, that I like a lot. 
uh, for the NTS 300. Oh, well, there you go. That's my review of the Teslong NTS uh, 300 Auto Focusing Industrial Boroscope. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this product, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys have not subscribed, please do so, because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.